what's up? It's your girl Kia, and I am here with the Mocha in the Morning Weekend Recap. And oddly enough, a lot of stuff didn't happen this weekend. I thought I was gonna have a ton of stuff to talk about, like I normally do, but it was kind of an easy breezy weekend. Um, real quick, ignore the two dark eyebrows. I'm testing something out, and it's really not working out that great. So, whatever. I'm pretty sure my host Jorge is gonna make a lot of comments about it. Anyway. <laughs> Weekend. It seemed like it was Celebrate Beyonce weekend across everything. Uh, she got the Entertainer of the Year Award from the at the NAACP Image Awards. She also received an award from the GLAAD Awards her and her husband um, for all the philanthropic work and support she gives to the LBGTQIA community. GLAAD Awards are really cool because she got a really amazing musical tribute from drag queen Shangela. And who, if you don't know Shangela, you need to Google her. She is amazing. She is one of the baddest drag queens in the game. Because I am what? Sickening. Beyonce to her feet, uh, gave, she gave Shangela a standing ovation. It was amazing. Speaking of the NAACP Awards, Jesse Smollett was actually nominated for an award, but chose not to show up. I don't know if anybody thought he was gonna show up. I didn't think he was gonna, go, gonna show up. No reason for him to show up. Chris Rock completely ignored that, and his first opening line was, what the hell was Jesse Smollett thinking? People are still supporting him though. Anthony Anderson is still supporting him. Um, Lena Waithe, the famous, fabulous, wonderful writer, Lena Waithe is also still supporting him. She said that it's actually hard for LBGT, you know, qu and queer folk to get support and there's always like, there's always a target on their back. I think that's a load of crap because this has nothing to do with him being gay or black or black gay man or any of that. It has to do with the fact that he's a dumbass who did something stupid and now he doesn't want to own up to it. The political world is still crazy. They're still throwing more and more and more people into the uh, race for um, 2020 for presidency. I think there are now 19 people running. It's a hodgepodge of bullshit. But Joe Biden is looking like it's gonna be a really tough road for him if he plans on running. Um, I thought he was gonna be a good choice, but right now, again, he's looking problematic, so. If you are a Grey's Anatomy fan and you happen to miss last week's episode, you missed the best night of television ever on the planet. They had an episode that was discussing sexual assault and the final scene of the show shows all the women all in the hospital you know, surrounding this one woman who had to go through surgery and a rape kit, which is very traumatic. And it was a beautiful, touching scene. And what you all may not know is that those weren't actresses in that scene. Those were actual staff of ABC and writing staff from different shows who said they wanted to be a part of this one scene to show how to support, um, you know, each other as women. And it's a beautiful, beautiful scene. Make sure you check it out. Um, shout out to Shonda Rhimes. You haven't seen us, you have to go see us. I haven't seen it. I have my fingers in my ears during the show because I heard it was really, really good, but make sure you go check that out. And so I will see you guys next, next weekend for Kia's Weekend Recap, and I will definitely see you on Mocha in the Morning next week. All right, later.